Okay, here we go. Here's the first one where they did it, where they took away the nickname. And the nickname, they say in their video, it's, if you see this boy, run. However, the nickname for this next anomaly is additional baggage fee. What? Yep. Entirely two different nicknames. But yeah. the same number. Oh shit, it's me. It's made by Captain Kirby. They made actually really good SCP stories. Alright. It also seems to be another plain one. So yeah, uh, Danger Noodles, if you can tell. Um, yeah, they started changing the actual nickname to the Anomalies. To something else entirely. Additional baggage fee, aka SCP-3767. Item, SCP-3767. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. Personnel embedded in United, United Airlines are to discourage, disrupt, and sabotage all attempts to overbook flights from New Newark to H Houston. Should an overbooked flight depart, Foundation personnel are to detain all passengers and administer Class B anesthetics before allowing them to disembark. Should personnel locate an individual not on the original flight manifest, they are to be detained and directed to a nearby Foundation site for further containment. Experimentation re requiring overbooked flights may be scheduled under approval from 3767 Project Head. Description. SCP-3767 refers to an anomalous phenomenon that occurs on overbooked United Airlines flights from Newark, New Jersey to Houston, Texas. 3767 occurs approximately 20 minutes after the airplane reaches cruising altitude. The onset is indicated by a change in the color of the sky as it will appear to take on a dark shade of purple. The change is only apparent from the inside of the plane as outside observers have a Confirmed that the sky itself maintains its original color. This begins at the horizon and spreads upwards. Once the sky has changed colors entirely, the plane stops at all traditional movement and enters a slow free fall. The process takes approximately 10 minutes to slow uh, the change entirely and generally remains slower than 1 meter per second for a slow, slowed free fall. During this ascent, the plane remains parallel to the ground, and the sky appears to go red. At this point, a feminine voice with British accent will speak through the plane's speaker system. This voice will declare that an extra passenger is on board and is weighing down the plane. The voice then states that, the, that this extra passenger must be removed in order for the plane to regain lift. Video procured during testing shows that an additional passenger is indeed on board. It is unknown at what point this individual appears. After an individual has been removed from the plane, free fall will cease and the pilot will return the plane to cruising altitude. Ejecting this individual from the plane does not cause the cabin to undergo decompression. As the plane ascends, the sky will return to its original color. Searches of the area where the ejected individual was predicted to land have failed to locate said individual. The passengers aboard the flight are able to recall the events that take place during 3767 only when prompted. However, they are unable to comprehend the abnormality of the event. In 78% of the recorded cases, the passengers collectively decide on an individual to remove who is then ejected from the airlock. In 21% of the cases, an individual removes themselves from a plane. In 63% of cases, one passenger on the original manifest will, will be reported as missing after the event, despite the same number of people getting on and off the plane. Addendum SCP-3767-1 On May 10th, 2016, the Foundation sent D-3114 to observe 3767 on flight 
when D-3114 landed, all individuals on the original manifest were accounted for. 3767 proceeded as normal, and the passengers decided to eject for the flight. For brevity, the following transcript begins immediately after the announcement was made that additional passengers on board the flight. All footage was taken from D-3114's camera, which was planted as part of his jacket. Begin log. D-3114 is sitting in his aisle seat. The, ma the man in the next seat over has fainted. The majority of the passengers quietly murmur among themselves. A small child can be heard crying from behind D-3114. A number of additional passengers appear traumatized as well. Others move about the cabin to either reach their luggage or talk to others. D-114 Here we go. D-3114 says, Well, you heard all the, heard the voice, right? Kevin goes silent, save for the crunching noise. After the pause, a woman here, wearing standard business attire. Passenger A stands and addresses D-3114. Passenger A. You're suggesting we actually throw someone overboard? They don't have any butter ideas. Are you insane? Trust me, lady. I say much weirder than us. You are in so you are insane. Please sit down and we'll we'll get you help as soon as we can we land. I'm not insane. A man in casual clothing, passenger B stands as well. Passenger B Are we even going to survive a landing if this keeps up? I mean, I don't know, but you you can look outside. Why not feel like it in here? But we're moving pretty fast. Sh sure, but... I'm just saying that, well, it's it's a sort of a numbers game. I guess you have a point. Besides, if it doesn't work, then we would all be fucked anyways. That is suspect. Passenger A clears at D-3114. Okay, Celia. If you want to go to your seats. Like whatever it says on the ticket, we will narrow it down to two people. Passengers reorganize themselves and take their seats. The cabin is silent again, except for a self crunching noise. One person left in without a seat is a young child. Passenger C. You don't cut. What is our seat? Passenger C approached D 314 and points to his seat. Tough luck, kiddo. This one's mine. Also, who here, here is 18 something? Look at your noise, it's a little annoying. Wait, who says you are the extra passenger? Good point. Do you have anyone to vouch for you? Of, of course, I've got. D-3114 turns to seat next to him. The man sitting there is still unconscious. I, I, hold a cup. Anyone else? D-3114 looks at the seats across the aisle. Messengers look away from him. You guys don't really think that. You're making a lot of sense too. You could have been trying to trick us by actively misleading our search. What the? I don't quite a shit job, have I? I never said you were smart. Whoa, whoa, let's calm down a sec. Passenger B walks to passenger C and kneels so he can look passenger C in the eye. Are your mom and dad on board? Passenger C shakes his head. Where are they? They, they said they would pick me up. My grandma brought brought me eat me here, but shh, couldn't come with. Do you have any luggage with you? Passenger, passenger C points to the overhead compartment. Passenger B opens it and pulls out a Spider-Man themed suitcase. The set. Passenger C nods. How did that even get... How did that even get up, up there? He... He helped me, points at the unconscious man next to D-3114. Madman, you have any luggage? Don't call me that bitch. Again, we don't need this. Right, right. D-3114 reaches below the seat in front of him and pulls out a backpack. Here. Well, no shit. 
The cabin is silent for 30 seconds, then a number of passengers start shouting and pointing fingers. A fight begins. After 4 minutes, a passenger hits d 3114s camera and transmission is lost. End log. The flight landed on time and all passengers exited the plane. Inspection of d 3114s camera showed no malfunction. When questioned about the conclusion of the argument, d 3114 failed to recall any specifics. Two days later, the Foundation received reports uh, of an aircraft matching a plane uh, from Flight 3552 appearing in Cherokee National Forest, Tennessee. The plane itself was largely undamaged, but all passengers inside had expired from blunt trauma that would be caused by impacting the ground at terminal velocity. All passengers from the original manifest were present, as well as an additional unidentified male child. Autopsy of this individual showed that its insides consisted of partially eaten pretzel snacks, airplane safety cars, and emergency flotation devices. X-ray scans of the living D-3104 in foundation custody yielded similar results. Okay, so if you don't send someone out, everyone gets replaced and... The non replacements die. Yeah. Wow. About CP. Yeah, but this looks like it's like the easiest for the foundation to ha handle because you can just cancel all flight trips from this location to this location. It really never happen. Can. Huh? They really can't. They can't? Well, think of a stir it would cause to cancel all flights. Delta is all the fucking time when I flew. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I, I. What the fuck? What? I just saw the thumbnail when I put it on stream. Oh. Oh no, and Discord is taking forever. There it goes. Discord. Thank you. That's a four. <laughs> yep. Bookman, what do you think about this? Now we have to remember, they took away the nickname of the actual article, which means they're probably going to go... Weird. Yeah. Interesting, though. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they have it here! Welcome back, that Professor Lucius Fields SCP Foundation Euclid Class Object. SCP-3767 Additional Baggage Fee. But they took, but what? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I wanted to see if there was a, a license for the picture, but there's no license down here. <laughs> so I guess we'll have to assume there's not. Are you ready? Yeah. The lightning and thunder had seemingly come out of nowhere. The sky had changed to purple, and seemingly now, to a shade of blood red. The plane took an unexpected dip, odd, since they had only just reached cruising altitude. He heard the familiar sound of the PA system. Ladies and gentlemen, we appear to have an extra passenger aboard. We are over our weight capacity and cannot maintain altitude. A passenger will have to be removed. He looked around the plane. The passengers looked nervously, from one to another, nobody willing to say what was oh, now in all their minds. Somebody yeah. would have to be thrown off. He pulled open his shirt to reveal the orange jumpsuit underneath and his ID. Wait, D-6209. We go back here. D-3114. The 
Jerome D. Class. Yep. Number. If they knew what a D class was, he was sure to be the first one tossed out. Better keep that to himself, he thought. An orange jumpsuit was never a good thing to reveal. He awoke with a start. What happened? Had he fainted? His head hurt. He saw a man and woman yelling at each other. Angry passengers were yelling and pointing at each other. The cabin suddenly changed color and a siren rung out. He felt a gust of wind in his face. He stood up and looked towards where the wind had come from. A man stood at the cabin door. He had managed to somehow open it. That wasn't right. That should have been impossible. Not only that, but besides the wind, the cabin hadn't depressurized. He could still breathe. It this looks like depressurizing. He at work. The man was holding a boy by the shoulders now. He was going to throw him out. He got up and ran towards the door. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-3767, additional baggage fee. Please join my Patreon in the links. Now. Sir, um, SCP- No? Did they make 173 Mexican? And you're not allowed to use that depiction of 173 anyways. Oh my god. He spotted. Requesting permission to engage. Negative. Fall back and wait for backup. I couldn't make that out. Permission to engage. I repeat, do not is this engage. An ad? That SCP is immune to gunfire. Yes, it is. Backup is in route. Fall back. I can't hear you. Sir. Sir. You're on the go and you need the best? Look for Raycon. What happened next? Next? I... Yeah. I don't yeah, right, remember, before. really. Did he throw the boy out? I... don't think so. Come on. You must remember more than that. Did someone else get thrown out? All I remember is landing. Like, everything just... seemed fine. He shrugged his shoulders. Plus, rubbed his chin. You mentioned a lapse in memory. Yeah, I guess I fainted or something. That's when the camera stopped as well. Back to yourself for now. We'll let you know if there's anything else. You think he's telling the truth? Yeah, he hasn't lied before. Before? This is the first time we've used that D-Class. Well, yeah, I mean, that that's what I mean. This time, he didn't seem to be lying. Floss looked closely at Chen, then smiled. Right, exactly. He seems trustworthy. I mean, as far as a D-Class can be trusted. Right, Chen? Yeah, precisely. Never can trust those D-Classes, eh? Bring a sample from the flight and meet me at Pythia's. Roger that. I'm not sure. Can't quite put my finger on it. Has there been any other signs? Nothing obvious, but in hindsight, I'm starting to question it. I I'm starting to question myself, even. It was so long ago. Did I use Class D amnestics? Class F? Perhaps it's just in your head. Your own guilty conscience. Who's got a guilty conscience now? Gloss? Yeah, you definitely should. Don't think I've forgotten what you did to that kid. Or that guy with the ticks. Jen! <laughs> Pythia and I were just, uh, uh, chatting. Uh, what the hell is that? You asked for something from the plane. Yeah, y you know, a safety card or, or a napkin. Bigger's better, right? Never one for subtlety, dear Chen. Look, you want me to take it back? Because I will, and you can all wait another hour for me to come back. No, no, just bring it over here, please. It'll work just fine. Well, that's more like it. Oh my god. He dragged the chair across the floor to pit you. You cretin. Can you be careful, please? You're scratching up my floors. This is not your floor. Your floor is in there with the dirt. The worms and the deer poop everywhere. That's your floor. Why do I bother? Just put it there. Chen set the chair down in front of her. All right, who's ready for a little plane ride? They were on board the flight. From the looks of it, the announcement that a passenger would need to be removed had just been made. 
The passengers looked back and forth between each other. They saw the D-Class sitting in his seat. The man behind him stood up and slammed the back of his laptop into the D-Class's head. He slumped over. What did you do that for? Uh, it wasn't on purpose. It was an accident. Well done. You've killed him. Don't be ridiculous. He'll be fine. Sir, are you okay? He's unconscious, you fool. Don't call me a fool. Anyway, well, I did us a favor, didn't I? What? You heard the announcement. Someone needs to get off. He looks as good as any. Vile. Well, how do you propose we decide then? Decide? The whole idea is preposterous. Then can you explain why we're descending? Someone needs to get off this plane, now. The passengers looked at each other, no one willing to volunteer. The announcement said an extra passenger is on board. Presumably, since we were able to take off and reach this height, they came on board mid-flight. The male passenger nodded. The SCP is already in effect. Clearly, nobody is questioning the absurdity of someone getting on the plane in mid-flight. So, let's all take our seats. We'll have it narrowed down to two then. The man nodded in agreement as everyone slowly sat down. He went to take his seat when he saw a small boy standing next to him. Where's your seat, son? The boy pointed at his seat. That's my seat. Where's yours? The boy looked blankly at him. Are your parents on the flight? The boy shook his head. Well, looks like we found our culprit, haven't we? The boy. Trying to blame a child. Seems about right. I think you're the one that doesn't belong here. Me? I'm the only one who is willing to even discuss this issue. Yeah, good job at misdirection. Don't you try to turn this around on me. The other passengers started to stand up. You just knocked that guy out. Why? Maybe because he knew the boy was here. And you just appeared? Anyone recognize this guy? I don't remember seeing him during boarding. They changed boarding. the D-Class. The man looked nervously between the two, then rushed for the cabin door, dragging the boy along with him. The D-Class okay, woke up. D-class he threw the cabin door numbers, open. And now he's the unconscious guy, while the random guy is the one who's the weird one out. Yeah. Possible. And no depressurization either. He pulled the child in front of him. It's the kid! It's not me! The D-Class got up from his seat and ran towards the man and the boy, slamming into them and throwing them all to the ground. Another passenger came from behind and grabbed the door, pulling it shut. Let's just all calm down. Prepare for impact. The D-Class got up and looked out the window. That doesn't make any sense. They landed. The D-Class is with us. Let's go back to the office. I need to make so many inquiries. Thank you, Pythia. Chen and Kloss rushed out of her room. Commandeering a satellite. Okay. Let's check the flight path. Mm, no heat blooms. What about the black box? What about it? You're looking for a missing flight, though the flight landed and is accounted for. Correct. No fires showing up along the flight path and surrounding areas. Correct again. So, let's check for the black box signal. Maybe something interesting will show up. Fair enough. Kloss entered the FAA tracking system. Okay, so we got a signal from the airport, as expected. Okay, but what's that? It looks like an address conflict. What's an address conflict? It's what happens when two devices are sharing the same ID. We've got duplicate signals from two boxes, but from one supposedly unique ID. Where's the second box located? It's showing up in the mountains along the flight path. Re-aiming the satellite now. Kloss focused the satellite onto the intended location, revealing a mostly intact plane identical to the plane that had landed. What? Ah, location, sir. Ready to enter the aircraft. Proceed. The agents entered the aircraft. It was dark and quiet. They turned on their flashlights and proceeded through the aircraft. Everyone was dead. Sir, we found your man. It was the D-Class. He was dead. This just gets stranger and stranger. You haven't seen the half of it, sir. I don't get it. What happened to that kid? That wasn't a kid. 
that was the SCP. He manifested onto the plane, or from the plane to be more exact. D-Class, are you ready? Lay down, I'm starting the scan now. So it was the kid all along. The big guy was innocent. Yes. But if the kid was the SCP, and the whole plane went down, killing everyone on board, who landed at the airport? Floss pointed at the scan monitors. Who or what? <laughs> SCP-3767 refers to an anomalous phenomenon that occurs in overbooked United Airlines flights from Newark, New Jersey to Houston, Texas. 3767 occurs approximately 20 minutes after the airplane reaches cruising altitude. The onset is indicated by a change in color of the sky, as it will appear to take on a dark shade of purple. This begins at the horizon and spreads upwards. Once the sky has changed colors entirely, the plane stops all translational movement and enters a slowed freefall. Uh -huh. During this descent, the plane remains parallel to the ground and the sky appears to glow red. At this point, a feminine voice with a British accent will speak through the plane's speaker system. This voice will declare that an extra passenger is on board and is weighing down the plane. The voice then states that this extra passenger must be removed in order for the plane to regain lift. Video procured during testing shows that an additional passenger is indeed on board. It is unknown at what point this individual appears. After an individual has been removed from the plane, freefall will cease and the pilot will return the plane to cruising altitude. Ejecting this individual from the plane does not cause the cabin to undergo decompression. As the plane ascends, the sky will return to its original color. Searches of the area where the ejected individual was predicted to land have failed to locate said individual. Passengers aboard the flight are able to recall the events that take place during 3767, but only when prompted. However, they are unable to comprehend the abnormality of the event. In 78% of recorded cases, the passengers collectively decide on an individual to remove, who is then ejected through the airlock. In 21% of cases, an individual removes themselves from the plane. See Addendum SCP-3767-1 for details on the remaining case. Wait. In 63% of cases, one passenger on the original manifest will be reported as missing after the event, despite the same number of people getting on and off the plane. Humans are intelligent creatures, Wait. but beware- <laughs> Cheery. Hold on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where do they talk about that? Uh, let's see. Where is the- where do they talk about the intent? Yeah, they they read C addendum SCP-3761-1 for details on the remaining case. And don't talk about the addendum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All they right. replaced the addendum with their own story. Yeah. All right. Removal of character slash license. They did remove a character. Yeah, it removed one. Actually, technically, let's. They also technically replaced passenger A and passenger B since passenger what A was in uh, business attire. A. The lady in the video was not in business attire. Maybe we could say they didn't replace passenger B, but... Yeah. It feels like they did with how they modified things. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. Yeah. They basically removed most of the characters with their own version. Plus, we have to think about it, they changed the nickname of the article. It's a four. Yep. <laughs> Alright, added gore or violence. Weirdly, I think it's kind of like a zero or a one. 
Yeah, they really didn't add any more that wasn't wouldn't already be there. Well, actually, maybe one, one because when they open a door, like the things drop down and like the error sign was flashing. Yeah. So like one, yeah. except one happened. <laughs> All right, deviation reply of the article. A three, I think, because they deviated yeah. so much, but they also kept some of it. Yeah. All right. Only men and face such offensiveness. Uh. Not... Weirdly, I don't think they did anything offensive. Yeah, I don't think so either. They kept all the women in video too. Yeah. <laughs> First time in a while is zero. Yeah. <laughs> 45%. Nice. When was the last time we got rated 45? 45. Well, last time we got 45. SCP 531. It's a long while back. Yeah. 